Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Ashok. This video is the part of Salesforce development using Chat GPT series, and I already have created one video in which I have explained all about Chat GPT and how it can help us in daily life and Salesforce development. So, if you want to learn from scratch, then you can refer my first video, and you will find link in description. Okay. So, guys, as of now, we heard a lot about Chat GPT, but today. Practically, we will use this in our Salesforce development, and we'll try to create some LWC components for multiple scenarios, and use them in our Salesforce org without writing single line of code. So, agenda is: we will see how much it can help us in our day-to-day -day Salesforce development, and also we will see how smart enough it is to write code, and how much changes we have to do to run generated code. Okay. So, today in this video, we will try to generate a component to show accounts list. And play with other different scenarios as well, and at last we will deploy the component to Salesforce org and use them in Salesforce pages. Okay, so let's quickly jump into practical implementation and open browser to generate component code. So here I already logged in into ChatGPT app, and here before going to start, I would like to highlight one thing here related to ChatGPT, that is, it doesn't know about the features which was released after 2021. Because it was trained with until 2021 data, so it might not give you the solution with latest features. But you know this is in beta version right now, and once it will be updated with latest data, then it will be more helpful for us. All right, so let's start with our requirement, that is generate LWC component to show accounts list. So let me type here, create LWC component to show accounts list. With Apex method, and let's press enter, and see what it will generate. Okay, so it is started generating the code, and it started with Apex class first. All right, so it generated the code. Now let's see what all things are generated. So let me scroll to top. Here you can see it started with Apex class. So here you can see naming convention is very good. Account controller, and it created ORA enable and casable true method, and created a get accounts method, and returning top ten accounts list with ID, name, and industry fields. Okay, and second you can see over here a component HTML file. So here it is started with Lightning card. And title is also good accounts, and here you can see this is using for each directory to iterate all the accounts, but not showing in tabular format, right? So that we would have to mention in question. But now, still, if you want to have in tabular format, then you can ask over here again. So let's type show accounts in table format, and let's see what it will generate. All right, now it generated again whole code. So let's see. So in the point number one, again you can see the same account controller, and in point number two, it is updated our HTML markup, and now you can see it generated table, and you can see the name and industry are the field, and and over here it is iterating the accounts list and printing the account name and account industry field. Okay, and one more thing you can notice here. it is by default selecting id name and industry field but what if if you want to show different fields and you can see here it is using html data table but what if if you want to show a lightning data table so all these things you have to specify in the question so here you should be more specific with your question and have to mention everything in detail that you want so let me ask a detailed question again and see what it will generate
okay so here i have updated my question again so i have mentioned here create lwc component to show accounts list including id name and website columns with apex method and wire decorator using lightning data table okay so this is how you have to mention everything in detail here so i am saying here create lwc component for accounts list including these columns and i also want apex method and i want to call that apex method using wire decorator and use lightning data table and one more thing also here you can notice here it didn't generate meta xml file and if you want that also so you have to update that in question so let me add for meta config also here okay so now let me press enter and see what it will generate All right, so it is done with code generation. So let's see what it is generated. So first it is started with Apex class. So you can see over here, it is included website as well now, but I don't know why it is included industry as well. And second it generated component HTML file. So now you can see here, it is generated using lightning data table, but it didn't add that card and conditions here, but that's fine for now. And over here you can see the JS file. So here it imported our apex method and calling this method here using wire and here it defined the columns uh, that we have specified like id, name and website and now it also generated the meta xml file and you can see over here what it generated automatically like expose true and also defined the targets for app page, record page and home page okay so this is how it generated code for the lwc component so now let's try to use this code in our LWC component. So let's open VS code and create new component. Accounts list. All right, now component is created. So let's try to copy and paste code here. So let's start with the HTML file. So let me copy from here. Or you can also copy from this button, copy code. And uh, let me paste here. Now let me copy code for JS file. So in my case, class name is same uh, that we have over here. So I'll replace everything. And now let me paste this meta config file as well. All right, so I have uh, added code for all these three files. Now let's create that um, account controller Apex class. So let me create Apex class also. And paste this code. All right, so you can see how quickly we are done without changes. Now let's deploy our changes to org. And preview and test there. So let me deploy it. Okay, deployment is done. Now let me open my org also. So let's click on this open org icon. And let's open sales app. Okay, so let me open this LWC accounts page. And we will add that component here. So let me edit this page. So this is a builder interface. Here in top left part, you can find the all standard components. And here in bottom part, you can see the custom components. And this is our accounts list. So let me drag and drop it here. Okay, now click on save and bake.
all right now you can see our component in salesforce org but data are not populating here so i think something is wrong in code so let's figure it out in the controller file this is a simple query so this should be correct and here in js file we are importing the method and uh, calling it using the while decorator and assigning the response in accounts property and here we are defining the columns this is also correct now let's see in the html file so here we are defining three attributes data columns and key field key field is correct columns is also fine and here with accounts we should also add data because with the wire decorator we used to get data in data property so this is the one mistake that we found in auto generated code so let's deploy and check it again all right now you can see the accounts list so we have seen here like how we can use this chatbot to write code for lwc components and apex classes and it is working almost as expected and at least giving us a good start like if you are much specific with your question then it can help us to generate at least basic code structure and on top of that we can do our changes if required as we have seen in this demo we have also added the data property so if required you may need to do changes over there and after that we are good to use that component in our salesforce org and you know right now it is in beta version but you can imagine how clever it will be after releasing the original version so i would suggest you to please try this tool because in future definitely these ai tools will impact our development process and some people are saying like these ai tools will take up developers job but i don't think so because as i said in previous video this is only a chatbot you can't rely 100% on this because as we have seen in implementation it can generate incorrect code also so developers are still required to run and test the generated code but i can say it can help us to do our job quickly but can't replace us if we are updated with latest technologies so accept it is in positive way and give it a try to figure out where you can take advantage of this okay so that's it for this video if you want more videos to generate code for apex batch apex or lwc using chat gpt then do let me know in the comments i hope you enjoyed this video if yes then please like and subscribe my youtube channel thanks for watching this i will see you in next video